Hi everyone, so this video took me a long time to do. Um, I have to say that I was very much on the fence about this product. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics uh, palette. I purchased it as soon as it came out. I bought two, one as a present, one for me. Um, and like I said, I've really been holding out on posting this review because I've been testing it and trying to make my mind up about it. So first off, it has kind of like a rubbery texture, which reminds me of the NARS containers, which means that it's probably going to be very easy to get this dirty. I do, however, like how small it is. You know, like it's smaller than my hand, so it's very travel friendly. Uh, it comes with six colors, which you can see here. Um, as you can see, all very nude, all very basic colors. Naked Basics is a very, very great name for this palette. And the colors that come with this are Venus, which is a shimmery, you know, although you'd think, I think they said that these were all matte. This one is shimmery, but I'm okay with that. Oh, my hand is so dry. I need to put some lotion on before I swatch these or they're going to look like crap. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, let's get that going. Don't worry, I'll let this out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first color, Venus. Okay, so the first color, like I said, is called Venus, and it is kind of a shimmery color. Um, it's very, very slight, very, very little bit, and it's a highlight color, so you can see it kind of there. There you go. So as you can see, it's very sheer, and it's meant to be a highlight color, but it does have that little bit of a sheen to it, which you can see right there. It catches in the light. So that's the very first color. I am currently wearing um, three, three of these colors on my eyes right now. The next color is Foxy, which is this one right here. Foxy is kind of like a um, yellowish tinted nude. So it very, very much blends into my skin. You can see it right there. And the next color is WOS. It's that stand for anything? Yeah, Walk of Shame. Okay, so that's this one right here. And this one I feel is a better nude for me because you can see it a little better and it actually neutralizes the uh, color on my natural lid. So it's right there. You can see it. Um, it is very neutral, and I'm currently wearing it on my uh, from my lid to my um, brow bone. So it's right there, and I have Venus, the kind of shimmery one, right under my brow bone. So it catches the light a little bit, and I'm wearing Faint, the next color, in my crease. And I love the effect it gives. So this is faint right here. That's a swatch. And that's what it looks like in my crease. So it gives me this really nice definition without being too extreme. So it, it's, it's a very beautiful daytime look. If I were wearing eyeliner, this would really tie the whole look together. If I wanted to use this Crave, the black color in here as an eyeliner, that would make this palette pretty much, you know, it would have everything you could possibly need if you ever went on a trip like let's say you go on a business trip and you need to you know just continue having natural looks that you can wear every day this would be great for that <laughs> especially if you don't like shimmery colors so um i think some people were just like nah, 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 venus isn't matte well they didn't advertise this as a matte color or palette that I know of. I think they just said, hey, here's some basics, <laughs> you know. So this is $28. I feel it was well worth the money. Uh, I'm very much liking just doing a, a very, very nude kind of look. So like I said, you know, I've got three of the colors on right now. Faint in my crease. Walk of shame from my lid to my brow bone. And Venus. Uh, underneath my brow just to highlight and I feel like it's a nice work appropriate you know 
easy look to do in the morning. Just walk out the door. You got you look put together, which is pretty much what you want when you're going to work and it's like seven in the morning and you don't want to do your makeup. <laughs> you just want something simple that makes you look put together. And that's exactly what this does. So I will say it's not for everyone. If you have a bajillion palettes where you probably already have a lot of similar colors like this, you don't need this unless you travel a lot or you need something that will just give you this option all in one set, then it's worth the $28. But if you're someone that doesn't do natural looks, someone that doesn't really need another palette that they're never going to reach for, this isn't for you. This is definitely for a certain subset of people. And I think that I have been reaching for this a lot in the mornings because I tend to not do eye looks uh, for work, but because I realized that this was literally just like one, two, three done and it was all in here, I didn't have to go looking for any colors. I actually find it really simple and easy to just do a quick look for work, put on my glasses and get the hell out the door. So I very much enjoy this palette and I do recommend it, but like I said, it's not for everyone. And you know, I can toss this in my purse if I wanted and if I have a meeting afterward I could, and I needed a little bit of something, this would do it, you know, and it gives me uh, the option of going a little smokier because of that black color that comes in here, you know, and I could go a little deeper with this brown, but I decided to go very natural. So you have options. You can go very, very natural. You can go a little smokier. You can add some color. You could bring like an extra, you know, eyeshadow and, and, and kind of put it in the, in the crease or on the lid and, and really do and add some dimension if you wanted to, or you can go vanilla and go like this. <laughs> Either way, I, like I said, I do recommend it. Quality-wise, the eyeshadows are usual uh, Urban Decay quality. I feel because these are mattes, they do have a tendency to kind of um, get kind of powdery with brushes. When you're swatching, it's fine, but with the brushes, it can be a little touch and go. So you just need to be extra careful with that because sometimes you can move the colors around. Um, but, sorry, my phone was vibrating. Uh, but, uh, Nonetheless, the colors are still very easy to work with. They're very easy to swatch. They're very blendable. They're soft and they're easy to put on. I think that they're actually pretty darn pigmented because usually I, I can't get colors like these to show up on my eyes. These show up wonderfully. So uh, quality wise, definitely the quality is there. So it's really more about whether if you think you're going to use this and whether you need it. So it's up to you. Uh, it's $28. It's available on Sephora now and UrbanDecay.com. And so hopefully this helped you make a decision one way or the other. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.